Hi everyone, thanks for checking out my video today. So I recently bought a stream deck and I've been looking for cool tricks and ideas to automate stuff for gaming and streaming. So here's one that popped up. Now I've got the triple monitor set up and I always use my middle monitor looking straight forward on my webcam. Uh, that's how I am set up on Twitch TV slash Spagoo. You know, happens to be where I spend my time live streaming. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you could head over there and hit follow. Uh, and if you're just going to stick on YouTube, go down below and hit subscribe. I can't continue to bring content uh, and, and stream content from MLB The Show uh, and bring cool tips and trick videos to other streamers uh, without support from my audience. So please, I appreciate it. Thank you. So when I play PC, I want my middle screen to be designated as my primary monitor. I've got Rocket League or Golf With Your Friends. Now when I'm playing on my PS4, I'm playing MLB The Show, I want that on the middle screen as well. And I don't want anything going on behind my PS4 on the screen. So I don't want to remove that from my PC setup. And I think it always takes like more than a handful of clicks to get one monitor set up the right way. In fact, once you have three monitors plugged into your video card, you can't really just deactivate it. Uh, this multi-monitor tool that we're gonna go over uh, allows you to do that. First, let's go over some of the requirements you're gonna need to pull this off. You will need a Stream Deck. You will need the Stream Deck software installed, and you're gonna install the multi-monitor tool. Uh, the multi-monitor tool, actually all you need to do is download it. There's no install required. Just open the exe file that's included with it. So assuming you've got your Stream Deck ready to go, download that multi-monitor tool and open it up. What you're gonna see in there is uh, you've got on the top panel, you've got your three monitors. You're gonna see that one of them is uh, set up as your primary monitor. Uh, that's gonna be the monitor that has the, uh, the system tray in the bottom right, right hand corner. Um, and that's where most of your, your windows on your computer are gonna be opening by default. Uh, so it's probably set up the way you want it right now since you're on your PC. You can go and hit file, save, and save that as your default monitor setup. And then you're gonna to wanna to configure your monitors for playing PS4 games. If you use the same monitor in the middle like I do, uh, what I do is just deactivate the monitor in the middle. So I right click and hit deactivate. And that's automatically gonna set up one of the other monitors that are still on to be my primary monitor. So I'm gonna go and hit file, save, and I'm gonna save that into a location on my device. So now that we've set up that alternate uh, profile configuration, all we need to do is go into Stream Deck. The great feature about Stream Deck is that you can execute command prompt lines. And the great feature about the multi-monitor tool is you can, you can use command prompt statements to change your monitor profile. So with both these tools working together, we've got everything it takes to just make this the push of one button. So to execute a command prompt statement, you're gonna use the system open shortcut in Stream Deck. So drag that system open button into your layout and what you're going to do is just copy and paste the command prompt statement that you need to use into that field. So for your machine, you may need to update your file location. Make sure it's pointed towards the multi-monitor tool.exe file on your machine. And then make sure that your uh, configuration that you're executing is pointed towards the actual location of your configuration, wherever you saved it on your machine as well. So now your Stream Deck is ready to go. At the push of a button, you can just flip from your PS4 or your Xbox or your PC and everything goes where it needs to go. Your windows that are open on your monitor will just move and relocate to a monitor that's on. And you don't have to worry about that phantom screen operating in the behind the scenes of your PS4 where I think what happens to me a lot of times when I'm streaming, like my Spotify or my Chrome window pops up and it's on the same monitor in the layout uh, behind my PS4. So this is awesome. It saves so much time. That's what we need as streamers. Uh, don't spend a lot of time fiddling with your, your monitor savings. And it allows you that flexibility of just disabling a monitor from your setup. So this multi-monitor tool, really cool. Stream Deck is the coolest thing I've ever had in my life. Uh, this tool does so much automation. It makes things so cool. And I love bringing my YouTube audience 
uh, cool tips and tricks, cool things you can do with the stream deck. So if you like what you saw in the video, again, make sure you subscribe so I can keep bringing content to you. Thanks.